So I jumped in my truck and drove to the siding, where I saw headlights. Finally, the thing I had stayed up for, and what a catch this was. Alright, this spring break I did nothing but rail fanning. This video and the next videos to come will be full of new locations and some amazing catches. We start off at our first new location way out in the sticks with wide open fields and a great view of the trains. And I thought this was cool. I caught all of BNSF's orange or heritage paint schemes on one train. The next train was also a southbound intermodal. And when it left, it was back to the depot, where a northbound was on its way. This was an intermodal, with an ATSF war bonnet in second. And up next was an empty grainer.
with several Burlington Northern hoppers that were in pretty good condition. And this faded old ATSF hopper. After the grainer left, I spotted a mow truck, and I wasn't sure what it was doing, but my questions were soon answered when I saw the truck was picking up rails and placing them on a special rack it had above the cab. But I couldn't watch the truck anymore. I had to set up for the fifth train of the day, a southbound grainer. And this one was loaded. About mid-train I spotted this cool Canadian national hopper. And at the end of the train there was a roaring DPU. Then, the grainer stopped for a local freight about 30 miles south. Unfortunately, I'm too far north to catch this local. Once the local had finished its work and was back in the yard, the grainer continued its journey south. Now it was time for something I've never done before. I stayed out rail fan and passed dark. I might have been too far north for the local that held up the grainer, but I was in the perfect spot to catch a different local, one that only runs on Wednesday nights. And the depot is its southernmost destination. In the meantime, I tried my hand at filming in the dark. Our first train was a northbound tanker, and he was flying. This looks faster than 55 miles an hour. 
the maximum speed for northbounds on this line. The second train of the night was a southbound. And I practically missed it. What a shame too because it had three CSX-9s and YN2 paint. Something uncommon, even on CSX trackage as far as I'm concerned. But it was my lucky day, or night I should say, because this train was stopping. So I drove over to meet it and try and get some photos of those CSX-9s. Yeah, not the best. This is the first time I've ever done nighttime photography by myself. The first time I took photos at night was when I went to see Big Boy. The reason this photo is so good is because there was almost a full moon, people's car's headlights were on, so there was light being cast on the subject, big boy, and there were professional photographers that were super nice and helped me adjust my settings on my camera to get this shot. But now it was time for me to fly solo, and it's definitely a learning curve. I did get a neat shot of the lead engine, and the reason this looks so good is because I wasn't using a zoom lens, so the shakiness in the camera was not amplified. After I tried to take some night photos, the crossing lit up for a ballast train, with a Santa Fe war bonnet in second. If this looks or sounds familiar, that's because it is. I caught the exact same train headed south a few days ago. After a little bit more waiting, the second and final northbound came through. Finally, the southbound could get on its way, and this was the best video I could get of those CSX engines. I might just be the last rail fanner to ever see these CSX engines in their iconic YN2 paint. That's because they're going down to Texas to be rebuilt into AC44C6Ms, and they'll inevitably be repainted.
Then the train picked up some speed and rolled off into the night. Once the train left, I went back to the depot to hopefully catch the local. I thought this was it, but no. It was an auto rack that was pulling in to work the small yard just south of the depot. This meant that the local had to stop at the nearest siding north of the depot. I jumped in my truck and drove to the siding, where I saw headlights. Finally, the thing I had stayed up for, and what a catch this was. The second engine was a Santa Fe blue bonnet, something I've been after for months. These photos may not be the best, but they're the best I got. Catching this blue bonnet at night has given me a new goal, catch it in the daytime. But that's an expedition for another day. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, stick around. There's more like it to come. Till next time.